Hi guys, welcome to Sri InfoWay. This video is TP-Link Archer C50 model. Let's get started. First, we will go to network settings. For this, we have to use command ncpa.cpl. Otherwise, we can directly go from here and from taskbar also. Taskbar, click the chase code. Network settings and internet settings. Key. But this is the best way ncpa.cpl run command. We will double click on the Ethernet properties. CP TP4. Make sure uh, mana maybe obtain IP address automatically set chess covali. DNS code same less set chess covali. Now we will go. We'll press OK for this. Already network 15 key uh, connect I did. This is a new TP-Link Archer router. C50 router. Now we'll go to browser. We will see one website and you know, back to the router. TP-Link. Just you can also uh, note it down. We Rasko watch pakkanadena. It also available uh, in back to the TP link box. Box when I can go to Rasun Tundiri website URL. Okay, now we are able to access the page of uh, TP link router. Okay, create login password. Okay, we have to set the password. I'm setting up my password here. Need to confirm the same password again. Click on start. Okay. No thanks. I'm not setting updating my password here. Okay. You can choose the mirror. It's uh, mentioned uh, TP Link logo here and uh, AC 1200 wireless dual band router model number Archer C50. Okay. One status on the status name on the. Uh, LAN MAC address out on the IP series. The IP series of Chepard key 192.168.0.1 on the subnet mask each arrow wireless operation mode outer mode operate out on the and wireless enable 2.4 gauge frequency and wireless. 5 gauge frequency go on the kada van van man wing came with any configure chale it will not getting any dhcp ip and model dynamic mode to configure just on the by default uh antukune it's showing all zeros we are not given any internet input and model okay we'll see one by one now Quick setup uh, operation mode. See wireless router ka configure chayala, access point ka, uh, configure chayala, range extender configure chayala. These are the uh, best options in this router. Uh, some of the routers will not have this option. We'll have only a uh, wireless router configuration. But e router low uh, by default company has provided wireless router mode access point mode and ranger mode range extender mode you can see here also wireless router and dnt access point and dnt range extender is defined in the RS mode, the device enables multiple users to share internet connection via Ethernet. The LAN device shares the same IP address from the ISP through wireless port. While connecting to the internet, the Ethernet port works as a WAN port. Access mode. In this mode, the device can be connected to a wide network and transferred, transform the wide access into wireless that multiple devices can share together especially for the home office and hotel 
where only Y network is available range extender in this mode the device can copy and reinforce the existing wireless signal to the extend the coverage of the signal especially for the larger spaces Manam wire lay chele potam, but alant chota, we can in other end we can keep one router, in other end we can keep another router, and we can use this range extender feature use here. Chan mata, okay. Network WAN, LAN, IP, and clone. See, uh, static mode on the PPOE mode on the we can directly connect. Uh, BSL network also from this PVOE mode and normal signals connect just coach dynamic mode in and uh, mostly some of ISPs will provide the DHCP enablement otherwise if you are uh, using the one uh, this operation mode right we have access point mode a mode loan up we can uh, extend our services uh, to this IP address PPTP mode out on the and we have a big pond cable mode also. Let's try with the uh, dynamic. I have another router which is already connected to the internet. I am connecting this now to the WAN series. If you see, I am connecting my existing router in this router now. Okay, let's click on detect. Let me log in back again. Looks like some issue in between. Van port is unplugged. No. If you're using a uh, uh, static IP, right? We have to request uh, um, ISP providers to provide the static IP address. Basically, basically this uh, DHCP static IP address directly we can use based on the ISP provider. If ISP provides your network as a DHCP network, then just you can assume that and you can detect it. And if you're using a static IP address, just you can request I, our uh, ISP provider to provide this. Uh, let's say uh, my ISP is providing me uh, this series uh, 10.5.1.23. This is my ISP is providing my IP address to me. And subnet mask is this one 255.255.255.0. And my gateway is 10.5.1.1. And my primary DNS a dot a dot a dot a. It's a Google DNS. We can use it for any ISP. We can use this and alternate DNS, secondary DNS, basically a dot a dot four dot four. We can save this actually, and we can use this network. And the LAN series, basically, this is the LAN series, uh, which I we can uh, deliver to the all the connected users in this series 192.168.1.3456 it will connect like this for all the users iptv 
basically based on the ISP provider it will this option might enable but uh, for my existing ISP we don't have this feature my clone dual band section okay here as it's a due AC series 1200 wireless broadband network router we have two features we have a, a 2.4 gigahertz frequency and 5 gigahertz frequencies we have okay if you, if you don't want to uh, release this uh, frequencies we can deselect any of either one okay uh, basically the why we have to use why we have this uh, 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz frequencies 5 gigahertz frequency uh, is likely to have very um around the houses manaki andaru wifi users chaala mandi vaartu untaru around the house vaalike em tante uh, everyone use 2.4 gigahertz frequencies man same frequencies unte manaki congestion vastundi ante like we we can't get delivered the same speeds deliver of one matter and the good name five gigahertz frequencies on day and day almost uh, uh out of ten they they might use three or four people use as some target but we will get likely be likely less congested on the monkey network low it will be a faster network signal wise choose kunte 2.4 gigahertz frequency will have the higher signal higher signal strength than the 5 gigahertz frequencies near area low 5 gigahertz frequency bound on the punchum far area low or 2.4 gigahertz frequency bound on the okay mana make a name set here uh, to wireless 2.4 gigahertz frequencies on the for a wireless name set just code are key security password set just code and you can change the password of the router filters advanced stats and now need it low of ig of ig low water my name changes quota option we have here and you can use like like this one name changes coach or free broadband alaga network where as coach wireless safe security kaltamu ekada you can change the security password of the router guest network one of the best feature we have in this uh, ac1200 tp link routers uh, uh, we can enable the guest mode also but under one password chapel uh, we can enable this guest network by uh, clicking on this uh, facebook wi-fi and we can uh, uh, allow guests to connect network on the in enable channel first Tarvata isolation enable, uh, enable bandwidth control also. How much we can give the bandwidth, bandwidth limitations we can give here. Here, manam ekar set chhel first. Band, if you want to uh, enable the 2.4 gigahertz frequency ya, 5 gigahertz frequency ya, we have to choose one. And based on that, we have to click on enable. Okay. Idi enable jaisin tarvate, this Facebook Wi-Fi option will get uh, enabled. Otherwise, chundi. If I keep it as a disable, and then this radio buttons are disabled here. Facebook Wi-Fi lo. We can't change any of the option over here. It will get enabled only when click on this. Okay, you can enable chase and automatic. I got this enablement. Click on enable. 
setup on Facebook. Okay, uh, this is how we have to set up actually, but I don't have any net connectivity on my system now. Uh, I was, as I was configuring this network, I was disconnected my internet access over here. I will configure it automatically. The guest will have option to use the guest Wi Fi. DHCP. Start but make sure uh, if you are connecting to the any of the TVs, you have to provide DNS servers. Okay, this are this is the main. A lot of people do mistake over here. They'll forget to enter the DNS. Okay, this will uh, solve a lot of issues connecting while connecting to the TVs. These are the uh, basic uh, network setup uh, to configure the how to configure the Wi-Fi router. Okay, and the best thing out of this is like a, um, what are the best things in the TP-Link router for this Archer Safety is uh, it having the dual band. One is a uh, okay, two point four gigahertz frequency availability on the low. Along with that, monkey um, five gigahertz frequency is good available on the low. Mano either na choose coach, but mostly if you are you uh manam the girga wi fi router the girga on napudu, uh better you can use uh five gigahertz frequency use CS condi. It will give more uh, Wi Fi strength and more speed on the uh on any of the wireless connected devices. If you are a little bit far from your Wi Fi router, then better to switch to uh two point four gigahertz frequencies. I switch as the monkey chala net can pretty bond on the okay and one more is uh, new addition to the here is uh, guest network guest network alagante manam andar ki password share chelem kabatti we can enable this uh, guest network in our uh, um, office or anywhere and let uh, people connect via their facebook login to the wi-fi thanks for watching Please subscribe and like the channel. Make inka even interesting devices gunchi configuration gunchi an issues unte. Please uh, post in comments. We will pick up and we will do a nice video around that on the next coming up videos. Please subscribe and like the channel. Thank you.